PC WizKid here with a Linksys WRT1900 AC Wi-Fi router. This one here is a dual band gigabit Wi-Fi router. So that's 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, depending on which band your devices use, of course. Using the latest technology, we're going to be able to see here a little bit what it's able to do. Now, one thing that stands out right off the bat to me is a dual core CPU. That's right. You heard that. It's got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core Marvel Armada chip. Okay, 128 megs of flash memory and 256 megs of DDR3 memory on that one as well. So there you go. And um, one other thing, of course, that uh, you're looking for in the router is that it has four ports at the back. It's got um, a USB 3.0 plug and, of course, a SATA slash USB 2.0 plug. Unlike other brands and other routers, this one here is based on the Marvel chipset. And inside of the box, you're going to get the drivers, the manual. You're going to get, obviously, the adapter. You're going to get the um, Ethernet cable. You're going to get the four antennas, these high-quality, um, not necessarily high-gain antennas, but because of that new uh, beaming technology and the um, programming that they did on it to uh, calculate which is the best route on the antennas, which antennas need more power and performance, it's able to uh, direct and uh, get... Um, more throughput basically because of those antennas so that's very well done there and I did notice a difference uh, compared of course to um, a previous Cisco router that I had uh, used so here like I said are all the different parts inside of the box um, nothing out of the ordinary there I mean I do like that it, they added a flat uh, nice thin Ethernet cable but here it is nice looking uh, shell plastic on the top lots of ventilation happening there it's they've gone to the old school design instead of that you know smooth dome uh, look this one here is the old school design again from the WRT series you can see again the um, connectors there for your antennas so you're gonna be able to screw those in no problem a fan yes you heard me a fan it comes with one that I haven't seen it turn on of course it will turn on and run very quiet uh, should it need to but uh, in most cases I don't see why you would need a fan but it comes with it nevertheless LEDs on the front okay to give you a status on what's going on whether you are connected to the internet or not whether it's powered on whether you're connected to 2.4 or 5 gigahertz and of course whether you have a USB e SATA or any of the Ethernet ports uh, plugged in appropriately so that you got four of them remember that now Looking at the back again, there are your four ports. WPS, of course, button, so you can quickly set up things. There are your four ports. Um, there's your uh, single port that you're going to connect to your cable modem, for example. There's your USB 3.0, your eSATA slash USB 2.0 combo port, which is nice and new for a router. Reset power, nice. And that's pretty much it on that one right there. Okay, good, easy to use, easy to set up, not a problem. Um, just screw in the uh, four antennas appropriately and then you can aim them, direct them to uh, whichever areas of your uh, home or small business, for example. This is great. So you uh, have it like that. You can have it like that. You can turn it, face it forward, backwards. You can hang it on the wall, of course. So that's very nice. A lot of routers um, don't think about giving you the, uh, the option to be able to hang things on the wall, but the feet have uh, the ability so you can hook them on the wall so very nice on that one as well um, and uh, well the software let's talk about the software a little bit the uh, open source software developer kit coming of course so you can have your own uh, and get right in there and, and control it but the Linksys smart Wi-Fi software is very intuitive very easy to use uh, took me just minutes to set things up uh, external storage you know, that's great, of course, to be able to control that, set up your FTP server, media server, NAT server, whatever you want to do. Uh, the network map is new, um, gives you status on everything that's connected, of course. Setting up your wireless, being able to filter, deny, allow access is very nice. Uh, Wi-Fi protected setup is very easy, and you can enable or disable that appropriately as well. Security, again, very easy to set up, as you can see right here on that uh, screen for your firewall settings. Enabling, disabling is just a check mark away. Your demilitarized zone and enabling uh, IP address and, of course, um, filtering apps, port forwarding, stuff like that is available through here as well, so no problems there if you wanted to do that. Now, moving along to other features such as connectivity, when you go to your basic setup and setting up uh, your SSID, whether you want to broadcast it or not, putting in a password, all of that is available through here as well. 
Um, you know, it is well done. There's no issues for me. Obviously, Linksys has been around long enough that they know what to do in order to enable things, and they've done a great job here without going overboard and making it look too complicated. It might look overwhelming, but it's not. It's very simple, straightforward, and easy to use. Now, administration. Obviously, you can log in remotely, control that. You can add, there's an app even that you can uh, control your router remotely. Troubleshooting, lots of diagnostic capabilities there, so you can ping, trace route, check the logs, see what's going on. So uh, they've done a good, uh, you know, uh, interface there to um, be able to back up and restore and upgrade your um, your firmware. And like I said, later on, should you decide to um, uh, patch it, update it, so that way you can use the open source firmware and um, install your own, well, that's uh, an option as well. Now, external storage, obviously that's new. Uh, being able to set up something like that, USB 3.0, very, very fast. Obviously, we want low latency, fast response, networking, transferring media files, streaming, all of that. Now, I did do some speed tests, of course, just to compare, make sure that uh, the internet service provider speeds were not being affected, that I was getting good wireless performance. I tested it on the uh, wireless AC adapter that I had on one of my machines as well as the BG and N and I noticed of course that the wireless performance was outstanding compared to what I had before on my Cisco router. I did not find uh, that having multiple iPads, uh, you know, the TV streaming, uh, Blu-ray, Wi-Fi connected, my uh, Ethernet LAN, doing gaming, uh, Battlefield 4 for example, all of that very smooth and no issues with any disconnections or lag because the gain on those antennas, the strength, the beaming technology worked out very well and I definitely recommend this router. It was great to play with, great to try out and great to set up. Um, comment below, let me know what you think. I'll add the latest pricing and of course, thank you for watching.